we are having a great time investigating Colorado ski areas. Fascinating stuff. Now here's part two of figuring out how many ski areas are within or partly within uh, a distance of 50 miles from the Continental Divide. In the last segment we buffered the Continental Divide to 50 miles and as we saw it's actually 50 miles on each side of the Continental Divide so in this buffer zone how many of the Colorado ski areas are in there? Just looking at it uh, uh, visually let's take a oops we've got the uh, <laughs> the measure tool still on so I can go ahead and just click on that black arrow and then click on the zoom in tool so let's zoom in uh, visually it looks like most of them uh, are within 50 miles of the Continental Divide but we can find out in a quantitative way with our GIS one of the ways that we can do that is we can we can select so let's go ahead and hit the selection button and let's go ahead to the second choice here select by location and as the dialog says, lets you select features for, from one or more layers based on where they are located in relationship to the features in another layer. So what do we want to do? We want to select features from what? We want to select features from ski areas. So let's select our ski areas box. That what? That are intersecting, right, the features in what layer? And that is going to be the features in our buffer, our 50 mile buffer. Okay, so let's review what we've got. I want to, please GIS, give me select, I want to select features from ski areas that intersect the buffer. Okay, so all those ski areas that are inside that buffer, that intersect that buffer, are going to be selected. Okay, all this stuff at the bottom we don't need. So we'll just say okay there. And uh, great, what do we have? If we go into, right click on our ski areas data set and open the attribute table, all the ones in cyan are highlighted. That means they are selected. And what does that mean? Remember, we were using a select by location. So what it did was it selected all the ski areas that are within 50 miles of the Continental Divide. And what did it find? Let's look at the bottom here. It found 21 out of the 22 ski areas in our data set are within 50 miles of the Continental Divide. The only one that's not is Powderhorn Ski Area. Let's go ahead and right click on that and zoom to it. Get rid of this table and now let's zoom out. We could zoom out more quickly with this small zoom out tool. Okay, so there's Powderhorn. What part of the state are we in? We're in the western part of the state which is actually where we were looking at uh, uh, some river drainages earlier, you can see that visually, yes, it's outside of the buffer, which are these big bluish um, cyan-colored uh, oval-like uh, features, but Powderhorn is out there. Every other ski area in the state of Colorado is within 50 miles of the Continental Divide, except for Powderhorn. Let's take a look at why that can be so. Uh, let's take a look here. Turn on the shade of relief and then maybe turn off counties. Okay. Now I'm going to take a look here and zoom back into Powderhorn. And as I can see here, uh, maybe turn on some rivers, turn on some cities. Okay. Turn on some highways if you'd like to. Powderhorn ski area is on the side of this mountain. So even though it's not very close to the Continental Divide, it's high in elevation, it's mountainous terrain. It's, in fact, have them do a little uh, investigation of Powderhorn online. And they will find that it is located on the side of the Grand Mesa, which is actually the largest, highest, flat-topped mesa uh, in the world. It is about 10,500 to 11,000 feet in elevation and Powderhorn Ski Area is located on the side of the Grand Mesa. You can even see here uh, as I'm pointing the, the, the tops of the Grand Mesa are really as a mesa should be <laughs> quite flat and Powderhorn is on the slope on the side of the Grand Mesa. You wouldn't really want to ski on the top of Grand Mesa uh, on downhill skis. You could definitely ski on cross-country skis on the top of the Grand Mesa. So what we've done in that segment is we figured out how many ski areas are within 50 miles of the Continental Divide. But more importantly, why are so many ski areas in Colorado within 50 miles of the Continental Divide?